Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting video of Explore Bio. Recombinant DNA technology, commonly known as genetic engineering, is a powerful and coolest technique through which you can alter the instructions encoded in the DNA of an organism. The basic idea behind the technique is that you can take gene from one organism and get it expressed in another organism to get a desired character previously not present in that organism. In my previous video, I have explained the basic steps involved in recombinant DNA technology. In case you need to learn more about it, the link is provided in the description below. In today's video, you will learn about 12 most amazing applications of recombinant DNA technology. I have referred various sources to compile the information including the examples for you to feel the power of this technology. This video will be especially useful to you in exams if you are students. So watch it till the end, you will definitely learn something new. One of the most impactful application of recombinant DNA technology is in production of life-saving therapeutic proteins like insulin. Recombinant DNA technology allows scientists to insert human insulin gene into bacteria which can then produce large amount of human insulin in a cost-effective way. This insulin is routinely used by many diabetics increasing their life expectancy. And there are other therapeutic proteins like erythropoietin to manage anemia, human growth hormone for treating growth disorders in children, blood clotting factor for hemophilia patients, interference with anti-cancer and antiviral properties. Another very useful application is in developing vaccines for dreadful diseases. Traditional vaccines use weakened viruses, but recombinant DNA technology offers a more targeted approach. Scientists can take the gene responsible for immune response from pathogen-like viruses and put it into harmless bacteria or yeast for production of vaccines that can be easily purified for their usage and develop immunity in humans. Examples include hepatitis B vaccine and DNA and mRNA vaccines used for COVID-19. Generally, genes encoding surface antigen of virus are used for developing vaccines. To learn more about how vaccines work, you can watch this video. The technology can also be used for disease detection. For example, ELISA kits use antibodies to detect disease-causing antigens such as COVID-19 spike protein. The antibodies used for making ELISA kits are developed through recombinant DNA technology. Often enzymes conjugated antibodies are used that generate color upon antigen binding for quick and easy detection of disease. Another useful application of this technology is in treating genetic disorders by altering genes. This is also termed as gene therapy. Gene therapy is a revolutionary approach to treat genetic diseases by introducing a healthy copy of a gene to replace a defective one. For example, children with ADAS kid lacks a crucial enzyme for immune system development, leaving them vulnerable to infections. Modified virus delivers a healthy ADA gene into bloodstream. These modified stem cells then produce the missing enzyme and improve the immune function. Gene therapy is still in its early stages, but it holds immense promise for treating a wide range of diseases such as cystic fibrosis, hemophilia and some other form of cancers. Recombinant DNA technology is used to generate genetically modified organisms with desired traits by incorporating genes from different organisms. For example, Bt cotton is genetically modified with bacterial insecticidal gene. This produces insecticidal protein in plant and thus reducing the need for insecticide. Golden rice is a genetically engineered rice to produce beta-carotene, a precursor to vitamin A to help combat vitamin A deficiency in developing countries. Flavor Saver Tomato was engineered using antisense polygalactouronase gene to have longer shelf life by reducing the activity of polygalactouronase enzyme that causes tomato to ripen and soften fast. And similarly, there are genetically modified corns, soybean, potato, mustard showing insect, pest or herbicide tolerance and other characters. As you know, plastics are non-biodegradable and are not good for environment. Transgenic plants and bacteria can be exploited to produce biopolymers like polyhydroxyalkanoids and polyhydroxybutyrates that can replace plastics. This technology is also useful in phytoremediation. Phytoremediation refers to the use of plants for removal of pollutants from the environment, especially soil. Metal detoxifying genes from bacteria and other organisms are introduced into plants which uptake and convert toxic elements into non-toxic or less toxic form. For example, mercury is a hazardous heavy metal, largely found in aquatic ecosystem. 
transgenic plants have been designed to incorporate the mercury reductase gene which helps in detoxification of harmful mercury into less toxic form. This technology can be used to create microorganisms that clean up environmental pollutants. These microbes can be engineered to break down oil spills, toxic chemicals and other environmental contaminants. Example of such oil eating bacteria is Pseudomonas putida. Recombinant DNA technology plays a vital role in functional genomic research. Scientists use this technology to create mutations in gene and study how these mutations affect an organism's phenotype or observable characters. Scientists can develop monoclonal antibodies for specific protein detection and purification for research purpose. Recombinant DNA technology allows for production of large quantities of enzymes for industrial applications. These enzymes can be used in variety of purpose such as food processing, textile manufacturing and biofuel production. For example, amylases that break down starch into sugars are used in various applications like bread making, brewing, corn syrup production, etc. Proteases that hydrolyzes proteins are used for creating protein supplements. Enzymes for research like restriction enzymes, DNA polymerases, recombinases, ligases used in recombinant DNA technology and molecular biology works are also commercially produced using this technology. This technology has role in personalized medicine. As you know, each individual has a unique genetic makeup and therefore not all medicines work the same way for each individual. Recombinant DNA technology can be used to identify genetic variations that influence a person's susceptibility to disease or response to medication. And this information can be used to develop personalized treatment plants that are more effective and have lesser side effects. Recombinant DNA technology is also used for enzyme replacement therapy. This approach uses genetically engineered microbes to produce enzymes that people with certain genetic conditions cannot produce. For instance, lactase, the enzyme needed to digest lactose of milk, can be produced by recombinant organisms and added to dairy product to make them suitable for consumption by lactose intolerant individuals. These are some of the most common applications of recombinant DNA technology, but there are endless possibilities for future. Let me know in the comment below what interests you most about the recombinant DNA technology. Check out my other interesting videos in research and publishing, nutrition and health, techniques, markers and lot more. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay informed about my latest uploads. Thanks for joining and I will see you in my next video.